pre-training poop is necessary. Every time. Quick, quick little recap time. So storytelling coming from a robot, basically. Day one is a very cardio-centric focused day. Starts off with those bike sprints into isometric lunge holds. I have no fucking idea what an isometric lunge hold is, so I kind of just lunged as deep as I can, just holding dumbbells, weighted it, counted to 15 in my head, and we all know how well that works, counting in your head. So I don't even know if I even hit 15 seconds. It was a 30 second sprint into 15 second hole. I will be timing my rest periods from now on. I asked Joe Sullivan, my coach, the question, how much time in between exercises? Cause we got uh, timed rest periods between sets. And he said seven to 10 minutes and then we, we Gucci. So we went into the lying leg curl for time, uh, which is bull. I, I usually got like somewhere between 19 and 21 reps with that. I used a 55 pound dumbbell and then we upgraded from 100 total pounds for the step ups to 110 pounds for that. We used a different box this time because the uh, massage therapist at the gym was using two boxes as tables, which I was not happy about. I needed equipment for more than just placing things on. Went into the step ups. The uh, the hamstrings were just absolutely fried after the, the lying leg curl into the step ups. And it was, it was kind of like that pump where it feels like you're about to crush your bones. It was fantastic. I've never felt like I was crushing my femurs before. It also sucked because I only had 30 seconds rest in between sets. And by the time I was done with it, I was like, I didn't think that I was gonna puke today, but it might happen, it might happen. So we went to the goblet squats, which I hate. I hate goblet squats. Mostly because it's, that's the thing that I throw up on. It was four by 30 goblet squats. Uh, last week we used 100, this week we used 105. But I was wearing different pants last week and this time the weight part of the dumbbell kept getting caught on the crotch of my shorts. So you'll see in the video, it's, it's caught every single rep. It was annoying as fuck. But um, afterwards for sets two through four, I, um, I hiked the shorts up so that there was no trampolining between my legs so that the uh, dumbbell wouldn't get caught on that. Felt all right. I don't know the standards of a goblet squat because it, I mean, it's got the name squat and the goblet part is you're just, you're just chalicing a dumbbell as if you've got massive testicles for a chin. But I mean, it slides down because I, I got weak noodle arms. I don't know what the standards are. So sets two through four, I kind of bottom half squatted it. I don't know if that's cheating or not. I have to set three of pute, so I mean, I guess I'm not cheating, but as we work further and further, trying to uh, increase that work capacity, increase the ability to perform, we're gonna clean that up. And then we jumped into the banded safety squat bar squats. Almost killed myself with that. Because I had squat brain. I forgot to put a clip on one side, which the weight started sliding off. Not a super fun time, would not suggest it. I'm, I was supposed to be doing orange bands. We have one orange band and you need a pair in order to do um, banded box squats. So I worked up to, it was supposed to be 30%. I worked up to 355 on the bar plus white bands, which is very not 30%. I just has, have a massive ego and I'm trying to work that into it. I'm trying to not sandbag things, but also not overexert things. Cause when I was with JP, I was always overexerting. And when I first started with Joe, I was underexerting. So trying to find that balance in between being too much of a giga chad versus not being a giga chad at all and then i was super excited to see that the only thing that i had left was uh back extensions and i used the single orange band because i was it was feeling lonely and i wanted to make sure that it wasn't super lonely so i threw that onto the back extension finished off with some light uh, assault bike biking that's uh yeah i, I mean just assault biking if that's what you call it i don't know what to call it i've it's cardio that's all i know but it was light cardio to uh bring me down from high heart rate i don't know cardio is cardio just sucks on to the next day <laughs> 